All right, guys, that was insane. Uh, so many games today. I think what usually happens, and even the Goodwill employee admitted that the usual game guy was not here today. That he beats me here every every time, uh, and I don't know if he lives close to here or whatever, but I can't get it, get here any sooner than what I do. I head straight here on Thursdays, and uh, thankfully, maybe he's out sick or something. I don't know, or had to do something, but. Got some really cool finds today, guys. Here's the teaser. You, you already know. You already know what some of the stuff I bought. A couple other things I didn't get on the video camera, though. We'll save that for the game room later. Alright guys, I was about to buy that Sims 2 Castaway and I thought about maybe getting taking the cases, maybe asking, but I just I didn't really want to offer too much money, even if even at this point like fifty cents a dollar a case is like uh but um this is the only thing I got. C D Hinder. Pretty cool. That's the only thing. So I might go this this afternoon, this evening. We'll see. Uh but I'm gonna have to play it pretty close to the chest because that was an epic score this morning, but it came at a price. <laughs> All right, later. What's up guys, welcome back to the game room. Alright, so, the finds I have, 
this week are from just two days of hunting. I uh, will start with the finds from yesterday. I found for the two for five deal. I got I saw this first. Rayman Origins. I have this already on the Wii. I might be flipping this. I'm not sure. But um, it is a, a gut copy for from GameStop. So when they get these new, they open it up. You put this in there. and put a little circle label there. So this is brand new. Uh, brand new Rayman game here. So, pretty cool. And I paired that up with uh, Lego Star Wars. I have a lot of Lego games for the Wii, so I thought I'd pick this up. Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. And that's complete. Not bad. Then today, what an amazing day. I guess I'll, I'll just start off. Yeah, I'll start off with this one. This was from the second Goodwill today. This one, the right bumper seems a little um, jarred or something. It doesn't seem to want to move. I might have to fix it up, but this is the first time I've seen one of these uh, Microsoft Xbox 360 mini controllers. I um, got that for, it's hard to see it, 425 and uh but all the other buttons feel really solid and i love these wired controllers and it's skylanders so it's pretty uh pretty cool all right then well i'll go ahead and go do this what i found this morning what a haul All right, so all right, so I will admit this was like fifty dollars worth of games. I never spend that much at Goodwill. Never. I've come kind of close a couple times, but there were just so many good games. Uh, I'll preface this. I mean, the guy that there's like another gamer guy that comes in there. They say, I mean, I've seen him a couple times, and he's they're like right at nine o'clock when they open and it's just kind of frustrating because I'm, I've been beaten out a lot of times. I think they had one time boxed Nintendo games. He found it. Uh, I bought those. He bought, I'm sure, I mean, I, or I'm assuming he bought them. Um, he's like in there every time that I've seen him, uh, last, well, two or three weeks. And, uh, he's over there just looking up the games, just like I do. I mean, you know, can't fault the brother. But, uh, he, there was two Sega Nomads, I think, at one time. But anyway, today was my day. So, we'll start off with the first finds on the rack. Um, first game you saw me pick up was Scarface, The World is Yours. I did not realize, but this is, uh, has a little bit of value to it. Um, I think it was like 16, 17 bucks or something like that. But I uh, don't have it in the collection. Um, happy to add it to the collection. Say hello to my little friend. I'm going to add to my collection now. Okay. Sorry. Add to. All right. This one, uh, the case is broken off of here. But it's another Sega CD game. I'm finding these some semi-frequently now. Um, double, what is it called? Double switch. Yeah. Don't know anything about it. It's a live action thing on here. As most of them are. Or the ones that I've seen anyway. And then this was really cool. Um, need, the Need for Speed. Uh, long box PlayStation game. Complete. But I do need to fix this. It's like coming apart here. I don't know. That's the only thing that needs fixing. But all of those were... How much were those? Ninety-nine cents a piece. So not bad, especially for Scarface. 
All right, then you saw me look in the display case and saw some Wii games, and I almost went over top of this one, um, but I decided to go ahead and get it. Mario Super Sluggers. Um, this is complete. It has the little Club Nintendo thing, but it has the manual behind it. Pretty cool. Find that Mario game for only five bucks for the Wii. So happy to add that to the collection as well. And then here are some that you didn't see in the video. When I was picking up this net, the final game that I'm going to show here, and this is find um, the guy said, "Oh, I forgot to put these out," or he didn't have a chance to because there was a lot of there was four or five other men there. Uh, I, if you heard the mu loud music in earlier in the video, uh, they were blasting it and checking out a sound system. And one guy was looking for computers and stuff. Thank God, none of them were looking for games. One guy was behind me with some Wii stuff, but thankfully he didn't see what was here. Um, he brought out the following games: Game Boy games, The Punisher for two ninety nine, Double Dragon two, two ninety nine. And Donkey Kong Land 2, 299. I was going to pick up the Prince of Persia and all of that stuff. But I was just was like, oh, this is going to be so much. So I, I decided against it. I actually added this one in last and paid 499 for it. It's not completely complete, but it still is really cool. I've never seen it. Um, Final Fantasy 7 for the PC. Pretty cool. I thought it was weird that it says IDOS. Uh, IDOS Interactive uh, put this out. I was just like, you see like Square Soft on it or something. But anyway. Alright, and then this was the one that I really had to pay up for. But I don't have it already in my Nin Nintendo 64 collection. And the label looks a little bit faded and it's a little dirty, but. I mean, this game goes for 45 50 bucks. So, Super Smash Brothers, the original. Very happy to add this to the collection. And this is a heavy N64 game. I don't know why. It feels really heavy. But, really happy about that. So, I paid about a little more than half price for that. And then tonight, final games of the night. I'll show the DS game that I found. Interesting um, looking game. An interesting sounding. You take your photos into battle, generate more than 150 monsters, I guess, with your photos. I don't know. Um, Photo Showdown for Nintendo DS I, but I'm sure the 3DS can play this with it because it has a camera as well. But uh, I was figuring someone stole the game out of it. It was the same one that I went to last week at, with the uh, game stolen out of it. But nope, it's there. And manual's there as well. So cool find for $2.25. And then the last one. If this was the Nintendo version, um, it'd be probably a little more, or I know it's more valuable and probably a little more rare. But um, still, really happy to add this to the collection. I was, I couldn't believe it was just sitting there in the corner like that. No, if someone did someone pass up on it? I don't know, but there it is. I moved the sticker label so you can see the label there. But there's how much I paid for it: three dollars and twenty-five cents. Battle Toads, Double Dragon. Very cool. Um, I've. It's funny, I've been wanting to find some Super Nintendo games and Nintendo 64 games, and I just found two of some of the best ones on for the system, I think, or, or two, at least two really stellar titles, one for each today, and uh, the rest of these games are really just a bonus. But uh, anyway, that's my pickups for this week. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll check you out later.